Hi everyone. We're going to make a quick coaster set. Sorry about my camera. This first color is apple cider, which is a prism pour color. It's one of those colors that seems a little unassuming, sort of like nickel azo gold from Golden, but when you use it, it really kind of steals the show. So I think this is the first time I've actually used it in a pour. Um, so the set I'm making is sort of intended to be neutral colors with some red. So that is a mixture of wild vine and olive vine. I had them both mixed up, so I combined them together. It's from Color Art. It's a primary elements color. Uh, so this person's home has neutrals like tans and browns and greens, um, but their favorite color is red. So I, I, uh, this is going to be a gift for a sweet friend of our family, and so. This is Love Struck and Luna together. Um, so this is going to be our pop of red. So I figured with a deep, rich red, um, it would work. This is Mother of Pearl, which is a prism pour color. So I sped this up. I'm going to, I'm kind of showing you the colors as I go um, for this one. Uh, next up is Ember Fire, which is both a bling it pigment color and a prism pour color in the ancient metal set really beautiful like orangey coppery color and then next up i'm going to use matisse olive and i'm going to put just a splash of uh, prussian blue from golden on the top and we're going to use a dual cell activator Prussian blue is like kind of a very easy to use blue because if you use really neutral colors, it sort of complements them, but it can be a very beautiful color on its own. So, so I'm using titanium white from Gram, M. Gram, mixed with Australian Floetrol for my first cell activator. And the second one is the Anathroquone, I always say it wrong, from M. Gram, it's blue. I love using these together. Um, so I will list the, the colors in the description box. Um, I am using an Oopsie House Paint, which I didn't really explain in the beginning. It is way too thick, but I need to use it up. I had a gallon of it. You can kind of get away with it with coasters, but if you were to use it with anything else, it would crack. And I'm hoping that these dry without issue. I used way too much cell activator so this coaster this first one it almost got scraped i had to ask my husband because i tend to be too picky um and he said it looked nice so but i love the way these two cell activators play together you get the really cool outline of your cells um that you probably wouldn't get as much if you only used white and I just, I love the way they work together. So you can see me trying to break up that additional cell activator. Um, but these colors actually look really great together. Um, and I still need, you know, if you follow my channel, you know, I'm currently in Operation Use Up Paint. Um, so I, I may do some variation of these colors with maybe a different red or uh, maybe a different green. I, I need to use up some of my some of my colors like the olive color has been mixed up for a long time so yeah so I do like this one but you can see where there's big like ribbons of white um, that shouldn't be if you're using the right amount of cell activator on a small tile anyway on a bigger bloom maybe but on a small tile um, that much cell activator usually means that you use too much and the reason it doesn't look ugly but it sometimes dries ugly so um but i took a chance on this one so i'm gonna show you what this looks like when i get it off the spinner i tried to zoom in so you could see the detail but that sometimes makes the camera do dumb things but um so i'm kind of gesturing to the part that bothers me but the, the set turns out beautiful. Um, on one of them, my camera was apparently not recording or stopped recording in the middle. 
So here's a little bit of a close up. So I'll run through the others with you so you can see the process. All right, so here's the second one. We have our pillow down, which is way too thick, by the way. And uh, first color, of course, apple cider. I'm showing it to you again because I thought I might have scrapped the first video. And I flipped my camera around for giggles by accident. Next up is the wild vine olive vine mixture. So pretty. It's crazy how many beautiful colors you're like, how come I haven't used that? Love struck with Luna in it. I think it's because you can only paint so much, you know what I mean? And that's Mother of Pearl. And then you get excited and you mix up all the things. That is uh, the ember color. I just had the biggest brain fart. And then Olive by Matisse. And Prussian Blue. White Cell Activator. And Anthroquinone. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong. Blue. Both by M. Graham. I will list them in the description box because I realize you're probably like, what? So we did a lot better on the composition on this one because we didn't use quite as much cell activator. Just breaking the, the surface tension in the middle. But look at those cute little bubbly cells. They're so cute. Pardon my face right in the way. Whoa. Major blurries from the camera. Obviously, the paint's being very thick. We had a couple of bubbles. Now, I don't remember if I mentioned this in the first section. You don't want to use house paint that is that thick normally. Your best bet is with a coaster. But if you were to use that on a canvas or something like that, it would most definitely cause it to crack. So if you have house paint or old paint like that that's just gross thick, you know, coasters are probably your best bet. There goes the camera again to the ceiling. Let me show you this little guy. Whoa, blurry. So pretty. Okay, so I told you that one of these, uh, my camera stopped recording. So that was this one. Sorry about that. So everything is still layered in the same order. And um, I, I just didn't want to exclude the blowout of this one in case it was really good. My spinner kind of looks like a crime scene, huh? Now, again, um, the paint, all of the stuff is really too thick because we're using up some old paints in the process of doing this. So just for teaching sake, you really wouldn't want to do blooms bigger than a tile with paint this thick especially the pillow paint. But for the sake of mitigating bubbles, um, I didn't try to thin it down too much beyond what I had already done earlier in the day. So just an FYI. And you may see some similar colors coming up <clears throat> because I still have some of these colors left and I need to go ahead and use up that pillow paint and it's getting thicker the more it sits there, so. But I am pleased that these dried perfectly. They didn't, uh, that's one benefit of a really thick pillow paint is your stuff doesn't move as it's drying as much as it does if you have a thinner paint. So it does help stabilize your design if it doesn't crack, you know. So, so yeah, I'll show you this one a little bit better up close. Okay, this is a little bit better of a close-up for you. And now let's go ahead and do the last one real quick. All right, here goes the last one. Apple cider. I really like that color. The wild vine and olive vine mix. Love struck. I do have Luna mixed into my love struck. Mother of pearl. My spinner really looks like a crime scene now. Olive from Matisse and Prussian Blue. And my new favorite double cell activator combo. I appreciate you guys uh, 
joining me in some of my experiments. You know, sometimes I'm tempted to not film some of these like smaller things, but for one, um, that's when the coolest stuff happens when you don't film it. And for two, I can go back and figure out how I layered something if I wanted to do something again. So it kind of serves as a video journal for me. So just breaking up that surface tension with my little turkey baster. And then we'll spin her out. I like to cover my corners. It just helps everything spin out evenly. This one, I definitely use too much uh, cell activator again. You can see some of those like exaggerated white lines like in the first one. Um, but it was still acceptable. I just had to get some of those really big ones off the corner on the top left. You'll see in a second. But it kind of helped it match. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.